Back in the book segment tonight, the Week in Review from the Ingram Angle. Laura Ingram has been watching the My Brother's Keeper situation, which kicked off today at the White House. We need to encourage fathers to stick around and remove the barriers to marriage and talk openly about things like responsibility and faith and community. In the words of Dr. King, it is not either or, it is both and. And, and you know, if I can... If I can persuade, you know, Sharpton and O'Reilly to be in the same meeting, <laughs> then, then it means that, then it means that there are people of good faith who want to get some stuff done. All right. So, I know you. You know you don't like the Obama administration, um, but it seems to me that there is some potential here. Do you see it that way? If you were president, yeah, I would have a lot of potential. I appreciate that I mean, I'm, I mean that seriously. I'm not trying to be flip here. When you had that moment with Valerie Jarrett er, earlier where you said Michelle Obama should come into here, come into Fox, and look in the camera and say, you know, young girls, stop having you know, sex basically outside of marriage. Stop fooling around. Stop having babies. If that happened, if that kind of bully pulpit was used at the White House, that might be really powerful. But, Bill, you've been around long enough. That's not going to happen. Okay, they're going to stay with the teachers' unions, who long ago were happy to kick God out of the schools. They're going to stick with the NEA. They're going to stick with Planned Parenthood. They're going to stick with all these nonsense policies that don't create jobs, make it more difficult for black youth to get jobs in the inner city. They're going to stick with all these illegal immigration policies that you know allow people to be here and work here, which undercuts the wages of a lot of those people that were gathered in the White House today. They're going to keep doing that. All of that hurts young African-American, young Latino males who are here living in this country as citizens or legal immigrants, hurts them enormously. But they're so ideologically wedded to those positions. Your uh, statements about internships and men, that's all great. But that's not going to make a bit of difference when we have an underperforming economy and we have these, these absolutely fanatical policy positions that end up thwarting real advancement for okay. real people. And, and you're making some very valid and good points here. But I think that, that it all has to start with the family. Sure. So let's strip away the economics of it, um, because I don't expect the economy to get much better in the remaining three years of the Obama administration. I just don't. I could be wrong on that. But for me, it, it doesn't Stop. look like it, there's going to be a tax reform. Um, I think that the Republicans probably will take over the Congress right. and then make it impossible for anything. It'll be, just be gridlocked for two years. But let's get down to what can be done. Peer pressure. That can be reversed. But how is that a government role? Because the government has to force these pinheads, polite, to do it. Look, President Obama calls up Jay-Z. You see, read the lyrics of his, his music? Yeah, I know. N-word in Paris? Have you read, all, read the all lyrics? All day long. But, he, but Jay-Z... <laughs> it's not going to happen. He would do what Barack Obama asked He's going to stop all the, all the lyrics. Did you see Beyonce's new music video, Partition? I mean, it's basically pornographic. She and Michelle are BFFs. And, and Beyonce's this beautiful young woman with a beautiful child. She has this music video that is basically, you know, I'm sorry, but it's basically pornography. And it has, you know, he Monica Lewinsky all over my gown. That's a lyric in the song. And this is female empowerment. And these are the people who are going to help our at-risk youth. Well, I think that the the uh, emphasis has to be personal. I mean, the, not with the, those people. They're not going to be. They're not going to be doing I the. I, I think they might be persuaded. Well, to then they stop have to it. completely turn their backs on the music culture that, frankly, they've and made they hundreds. Of millions that. of dollars. Well, how, yeah, but, but how much more money does Jay Z? Well, and they Beyonce don't need anymore. Need? They're they're you know? they, they seem like they're you know nice pe people personally, and they, maybe they're great parents. Well, if the president of the United States and the first lady stop the nonsense right. with the lousy say, hey, pornographic videos, right. Knock that it would off. be nice. This is harming. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it because it is a cultural uh, a fanaticism and a political fanaticism that overrides all these good intentions. What you said in your talking points memo could make a big difference. I mean, really, if, if those things were actually followed through on. But we don't have an economy that's producing jobs for these young people, and we have a culture that is dragging them down into the muck. The Many of those people are friends of the Obamas. The big corporations that are signing on to the My Brother's Keeper program, they can create special situations for these children. They have enough profit. 
They can do right. it. They also we'll might see create, if they do. Might create some racial tension on the outskirts, though, because it all well, is, is, you know, it's kind of like an affirmative action thing. There some, might be some people who say, Mentor- wait a second, I'm hurting, too. Mentoring and, and creation of internships yeah. and things like that. that can well, happen. Fox does that already. We do, we do that at we Fox. We do it. All right, Laura, thank you very much. Factor tip of the day, what should be done with incompetent civil servants?